President Biden has issued a sweeping new executive order on artificial intelligence. The ambitious directive is being called the first of its kind and it aims to address the risks associated with the rapidly advancing technology while also promoting AI innovation. I'm here to discuss is the director of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, Dr. Arthi Prabhakar. Welcome, Dr. Prabhakar. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to see you. It's great to be with you. Thanks for having me. So President Biden has called AI, quote, the most consequential technology of our time. This executive order imposes some new safety guardrails on it. Explain this for us. Yeah, well, you're absolutely right. This is the most significant action that anyone anywhere has ever taken on artificial intelligence. President Biden signed this executive order because he knows that AI is already in Americans' lives in many, many ways. We know that much more is coming. And he was clear from the beginning that we have to make sure that we manage AI's risks. And the reason for that is we have got to man re seize all of its great opportunities. And that's exactly what this executive order takes a big step forward in doing. And the president's directive aims to lessen the dangers as well of misleading AI generated content. How will Americans be able to separate fact from fiction? Yeah, this is one of the problems. We know that, uh, that, that AI, with its ability to generate images and video and audio, um, deception and fraud become much easier and at much greater scale it becomes much easier to do that. So part of the measures that are in this executive order are about accelerating the process so that we can have watermarking and content authentication. This is the technology that would, so that when we see an image or a video, we need to be able to know, is it authentic or was it generated by AI? And this gets us on track to make that happen. And this order also touches on the chemical, biological, and even nuclear risks associated with artificial intelligence. You know, for people who don't know about AI, what are those risks? Well, you know, everything with artificial intelligence is the bright side and the dark side. So just as an example, it can help us design better cures for diseases, but it can also create accidents or biological uh, threats. And wrestling that and making sure that it's used in ways that are safe, that's one of the pillars of this executive order. And this order also promotes the responsible, and I mean responsible, advancement of AI in areas like healthcare and education. How could this be used as a good force, a force for good? Well, you know, it's already in our lives in lots of ways that, that can be good, and this is about making sure that it does turn out right. So, you know, if you think about it, I think we, we know when we go online and we get an ad that's just targeted to us, we tend to think, oh yeah, that's AI powering that. What we might not be thinking about is that when you get a diagnosis from your doctor, that might have AI behind it. When you get a yes or a no to a rental application or when you get a yes or a no when you put your resume in for a job, that might be uh, determined in part or wholly sometimes by artificial intelligence or other automated systems. So this can be really helpful. It can help us get better health outcomes. It can help us be a lot more efficient, but we have to make sure two things, that we're protecting the privacy of Americans and that there's not bias embedded in these decisions that we're now turning over to algorithms. And this, this executive order, the president's taking the actions to direct government to make great advances on privacy and, and, and making sure that we maintain freedom from discrimination. All right, Dr. Arthi Prabhakar, thank you very much. And great specs, by the way. We've been talking about your glasses all <laughs> afternoon. Thank Thanks you. so much. Of Take course, care. you got it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.